Thousands of people at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo just finishing up their walk to remember. And that's where we find News 5's Meg Shaw for the annu seventh annual event. Meg, this is a really big fundraiser for that local group. Yeah, this is actually the largest uh, fundraiser for this nonprofit organization. Yeah, people are now making their way around here for the end ceremonies of this one mile walk. But this was actually a really cool event to kind of witness because each and every person out here for the walk to remember has their own story and how the hospice of Western Reserve affected them. Again, as Mona mentioned, uh, the walk to remember started seven years ago and it was created as a way for people to honor Honor their loved ones who've passed, whether they used hospice care or not. And I've met so many people who've shared their story with me, like the Giamarco family, who they are walking for their loved one, Gino Giamarco. He passed away last October after suffering from several different cancers. I talked with Gino's daughter in law, who says they've walked in years past, but this is the first year as a family after being touched by hospice directly. It helps you just kind of see the, the sea of people that, um, that, this, um, that hospice provides to so many people and know that you're not alone in, um, in the you know, support that, that you've received. Now, even before today's walk began, they actually are already at 85% of their goal, raising more than $230,000, which that money is then used for uh, hospice patients, for programs and therapies that they provide. Live at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, Meg Shaw, News 5.